Hi everybody, welcome back to the channel. My name is Josh and I sell used books, CDs, and DVDs on eBay and Amazon. Today, we're talking specifically about DVDs, um, what DVDs are most valuable, and which ones to be on the lookout for. Now, with DVDs, your common stuff, like, got some over here, The Godfather, Indiana Jones, Gold Member, like, this stuff, they made so much of it. Like, tons and tons of copies they made. And it's just not worth anything. It's basically worth the price of postage, and that's about it. So those are best sold in lots or at, like, flea markets or stuff like that. Shipping them a lot of times does not make sense, at least for me in my business, and the amount of profit I want to make per item. Things that do make sense for me to sell, got some right here. Sea Time Harvest Paula White. Ever heard of that? Nope, I hadn't either, but I'm gonna make like five or ten bucks from it. We got this new sealed like vacation Bible school sing-along thing. Make five or ten bucks for it. We'll do that on the others. Wrong turn one through six. It's a horror collection, you know? Once again, we're gonna make like five to I think maybe twenty bucks on that one even. So some are worth selling, some are not. So what we did today, or what I did earlier, and what we're gonna be talking about today is I went to eBay. I went to the sold listings, and then I sorted highest to lowest and looked at the 10 highest. Now I did skip some things because we had some repeats in there, also some repeated themes, because more of what we're looking at today are themes rather than the individual listings, okay? Very important to kind of learn some themes here, and we're going to be going through those. Now, this is just the last 90 days. This is not the most valuable of all time. But anyways, we're going to start off. Number one, selling for $2,500 on an auction. This was a massive Doctor Who lot. There was a lot of DVDs here. You can look at the picture up there on the screen. Tons of them. Um, but there's lots of other sold lots from like one to $500 of Doctor Who. If you know anything about the series, it's been going on forever. Lots of different doctors, lots of different things going on there. But this massive lot sold for $2,500. And it's kind of theme number one. If you find a lot of the same thing, you can make some good money. Doctor Who, a lot of times individually, not always worth selling, but in big groups like this, can definitely be worth some money. Number two is Walt Disney Premium Collection. These are selling from like $1,400 to $2,000. I'd seen some other Walt Disney collections before in the 10 cases that have done okay. This is like kind of one step up from those, but the premier collection. So yeah, look at those. That's pretty good. A lot of the Disney like collector's editions or diamond or platinum or whatever they did, a lot of those aren't usually worth much at all, but this Premium? Premium or pre Premier? My handwriting's so bad. Pretty sure it's Premium. I'll put it up on the screen. Doing really good. Next was a set of anime. Once again, we're talking about sets here. Also, anime tends to be, like, better than average. Um, this was a set called The Three Musketeers. New, sealed, which always does better, of course. This set sold for $1,000. We also see used copies of it going from, like, three to $500, somewhere in that range. So, Anime, Three Musketeers, did really good. Number four on our list, exact, a lot like number three, but this one you might have heard before, it's called Persona, it is once again an anime. I believe there's some like video game crossovers between here as well. Premium edition, so once again, we got like a nice edition of it, sold for $1,000. Number five on the list, which number five led me down a little bit of a rabbit hole to see if this is something to be paying attention to, but it was actually a graded DVD, brand new sealed graded. But in general, the category of graded DVDs is not too strong right now. But this one's got something special. It was a Pokemon DVD, um, Destiny. And kind of the neat thing about this is there's actually a card inside of this. And I know this is true of some of the earlier Pokemon DVDs and VHS, the card inside of it is actually worth like way more than the actual DVD or VHS itself. So having it, so it's kind of interesting, like 
graded DVD market isn't that great. But we do know the graded Pokemon market is good. And so that's kind of this weird crossover here between the two of these. Um, this one looks like it's sold for around like $1,000. Now graded DVDs as a whole, I didn't really see any other selling until we got around the $100 mark or so. Just not, not a strong market right now, unfortunately. Number six on the category was a Dragon Ball Z set. Um, this one went for $1,000. Now, there's a lot of Dragon Ball Z movies out there, and you got to have a very large amount of them, as you can see in this picture here, to get $1,000. Um, most of them aren't worth a lot on their own just because it was very mass-produced for anime as compared to, like, other anime sets. But they can do really good if you get a lot of them. That's kind of the trick here. Number eight. Number eight on... Excuse me. I about skipped one. Number seven. Yeah, number seven on the list. Sold for $980. Um, this was a set. It was called AK-100. It was about... Basically, it was a whole set by this particular... I believe it was movie director. Um, but the trick here is... I guess we're going to call it the publisher... Publisher is not the right term, but you get the idea. The publisher of these movies is called Criterion Collection. Now, if you see any Criterion Collection movies that have been put out by them, typically they are worth picking up. They're going to be higher quality. A lot of the high-end DVD collectors are looking for these Criterion Collection DVDs. They're put out in smaller print. Typically, the quality is going to be better of the actual film and audio, and they have a good following. Criterion Collection, always, always, always look them up, buy them. They do really well. Number eight on the list was put out by Nickelodeon. Some Nickelodeon stuff can do really good just because it wasn't mass produced for whatever reason. And this is Are You Afraid of the Dark? This is a series. Now, seasons one through five seems to do okay. But if we're really looking at season six and seven, apparently are pretty scarce, hard to find. Don't even think there was any available on eBay when I was doing my research for this. But the set 1 through 7 sold for $924. Now, if you look at just sets 1 through 5, the value on that drops down quite a bit. Which is going to be true of all, like, sets and series. If you can get the complete thing, you get quite a premium rather than just having a part of the season. Number 9. I thought this was kind of funny when I ran into it. I was like... Of course she made the list. And that is Taylor Swift, um, a signed DVD of her Fearless release, sold for $840. You know, Taylor Swift seems to make every, like, top 10 selling list, no matter what it is. And last thing, number 10. I was kind of amazed by this collection. This was Survivor. Seasons 1 through 43, sold for $700. It actually comes out to $16 per season. Which isn't too terribly bad from like either a buyer or a seller perspe perspective there. But 43 seasons of Survivor. I don't know how many seasons there are of Survivor now. But kind of found that interesting that made the list. But these have been the top 10 selling DVDs on eBay in the last 90 days. Do you have any other good DVDs to be on the lookout for? Let me know down in the comment section below. But we had some good themes here. We had Taylor Swift is always money big big set seasons one through 43 or massive lots of doctor who or dragon ball z those types of things can do really good um anime is better than average graded pokemon is always money the horror nickelodeon thing did fairly good here you know and walt disney look at that 1400 to 2000 for that premiere collection or was it was it premium i don't know hopefully i told you guys on the screen but anyways I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.